Hello everyone and welcome to this Oasis ASAC webinar. Um, my name is Norbert Kovac and I'm one of the business development managers at Oasis. Um, today we have a very exciting session prepared for you, but before we start, uh, I just wanted to make sure that you can all hear me. So um, if you could please type your, um, let's say, location into the chat box, um, that would be great help for us just to make sure that you can hear us. And um, so the chat box is on the right hand side within the uh, GoToWebinar panel. Okay. And while you're writing, um, I also wanted to point out um, that you can minimize the GoToWebinar panel uh, just by clicking on the little red arrow on the top left corner of the uh, uh, go to webinar panel. Okay, so it seems like we do have an international crowd and everyone can hear us. Brilliant. Okay, so um, if you have any questions uh, during the webinar, please do feel free to just uh, put them into the chat box and we will have a Q&A session at the end, so um, we will discuss these. So let's start on uh, with the fun part. Um, let me introduce today's panelists, uh, Afrik Dalhanti and Peter Zebni. So Afrik is our structural product manager. Uh, she has an extensive background in structural engineering and she's one of the main drivers behind the EdTech improvement. So you have partially her to thank for them. Um, a fun fact about Afrik is that she developed a shock protection system for highly sensitive low res resonant frequency MEMS sensors. Um, it is currently being used to protect a seismometer on board of NASA's 2018 InSight mission to Mars. And our other panelist, Peter. Um, Peter is our structural application specialist and support manager. He's a chartered structural engineer a fellow of the iStruct T and a computer expert with over 30 years of experience specializing in engineering computer, uh, computing applications. Um, half of those experience are, uh, are in practice and the rest in uh, software, so whether that's BIM, analysis or design. And the fun fact about Peter is that he has recently published a book, a really brilliant book on computational engineering. Okay, so uh, that would be all from me. Um, and now I will hand over to our panelists and over to you, Afrik. Thanks for the introduction, Norbert. And hello and welcome to everyone on the call today. As Norbert said, my name is Afrik Delahunty and I'm the product manager for this new version of AdSec. So I briefly want to explain to you our motivation behind developing this new version of AdSec. So anyone on the call who's used it will know that Oasis AdSec can be an incredibly useful tool, and we're often told by structural engineers that it is a vital component of their toolbox. Therefore, we at Oasis want to ensure AdSec's future and make sure that it remained a useful tool and an up-to-date tool. So this involved modernizing both the user interface and completely rewriting the solvers, which are essentially the calculation engines behind AdSec. So next slide, please, Peter. So here you can see the new modern browser-based interface of AdSec 10 versus the traditional MFC Windows interface in AdSec 8.4. And I'm not going to dwell on this for very long because you're gonna see plenty of the interface in Peter's demonstration. But I can tell you that it is a lot clearer and easier to use. It also embraces user-centered design to ensure simplified, efficient and efficient workflows and it has an accessible UI. So it's suitable for people who are colorblind or who are visually impaired. Um, next slide, please, Peter. And here I'm going to very briefly explain how we restructured the AdSec solvers so that they can produce instantaneous results, which you'll see in Peter's demonstration again. It really revolutionizes the user workflows. So a typical user workflow is now six times faster and involves five times user steps, five times fewer user steps so there's really noticeable increases in performance and efficiency. So in AdSec 8.4, we used a solver process known as the air rifle. And when you use this process, you create an MN chart, then you divide it into a number, or you split the curve into a number of discrete points. And then for each point, the solver has to perform multiple calculations just to hit on a single point, and then you move on to the next one and so on. And in the end, what you end up with is a single result plane. But if you happen to be interested in multiple result planes, then you have to redo the process over and over again. In addition to this, if you want to check your input loads, that's a separate calculation, and the analysis has to be performed fresh every time you change your input loads. 
So all in all, there was quite a lot of wasted calculations, which made the process slow. So we've hugely improved this in AdSec 10 by rewriting the solvers to use what we call a machine gun approach. So using this approach, we calculate the full 3D surface or onion, as we often call it, up front. And then if we want to create a 2D slice, we simply cut through the 3D surface. But everything's done up front and there's no wasted point at wasted points calculated and it's significantly faster. So for you, the user, results will appear almost instantly. And now we can move on to Peter's demonstration where you get to see all of this in action. Thank you very much, Afric. Let me just minimize this. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at AdSec 10. This is, this is, this is here we have the new interface to AdSec 10 itself. Um, and apart from, um, bits here about creating new files. There is also a very useful section on on, on, on tutorials, a number of, of short videos just going through um, the, the new ways of working as well as um, some PDFs on documentation. Okay, so let's, let's just start um, and we'll create a brand new file. And like all the programs, we have um, job details and and units which I can set and I can um, save those as as defaults. Likewise, um, well, we can customize this choice. I also have a, a number of, of of international design codes. Now you see that some of them, like the Euro codes, have have a two part selection. Um, others, such as the ACI, actually has a a a, a three part um, selection. To, to what we want, and then again we can save that, that as the um, as our default um, choice. I'll just make sure on Eurocode UK. Um, so once we've set up the initial file, we can then go to the materials, and we see the materials are are, are created by default based on the the design code. Now. The graphs here allow us to um, compare and contrast different different uh, material values, or indeed we can also go and and edit the details of them as necessary. Um, now also there is um, a a long term creep coefficient option here. Uh, this this doesn't affect the calculations is just a preview of what the curves will be like um, and, and we'll set the creep value explicitly in the section later. I'll also point out that there are a number of these these information points scattered around the program. ADSEC doesn't have a separate help file anymore. What it does instead is, is, is give you direct access to the help topics just by hovering the mouse over the, these I values. So if ever, ever you're not quite sure, um, such as setup, it just just gives you the values um, immediately. No, also um, yes, also comparing um, material curves. If you hold Control down or, or Shift, you can select multiple curves to see concrete grades, um, rebar grades, um, and so on. Okay. Um, Let's look at creating a section itself. Now, to begin with, um, AdSec doesn't have any sections, but we can add in as many as we like. And just to help to get started, there are three example files which we can we can add in and then edit to suit. For example, let's let's just go into the um, rectangular beam, and we can just edit this. So I'm going to change the concrete grade, so it'll be a bit bit stronger and I can edit the the profile so it's currently 300 wide and make that say 400 wide um, but we can also edit um, the value directly here, here, here in the table um, and you notice if every time we make a change this graphic will instantly update so for example we might need um, more cover or likewise, get another reinforcement. Maybe um, 12s for links. Maybe the top bars are going to be 20s, but there's only going to be um, three of them, um, and so on. 
Um, so yeah, so the new asset giving you a complete preview instantaneously of of everything we're doing. Now, once we're happy with this layout, I want to go over to the analysis tab. Um, it uh, is is generating the doing the analysis to show how quick that was, and and we can now say okay, we're now in the um, loading tables, and I'll just close these off in a minute. Um, like like I'd said before, we can um, add axial loads and maybe um, um, moments. But previous ad sake, we had to run the analysis. Now we can just expose the results directly on the table to see how well the sections are working, and we can see the uh, this moment example. Sections are running at 60 so percent utilization. Um, now, for those who used as it before, this utilization is calculated slightly differently um, than than previously, slightly better um, than previously. So it, it can it give you a more objective uh, value. So um, this is these are ULS values. Now, obviously, the, um, the service ability limit states. These values will be reduced, or rather, these are increased over the serviceability. So I can add a second task in. Um, what's, this is as it's very fast unless you're doing a screen share. Um, something interferes. So I'm going to add in the SLS outputs, and maybe we've got uh, an axial load of 80, and maybe a, um, um, a load of 200, and we can see that um, double the crack section is cracked there, with and the crack widths are immediately bit being being shown. Um, and there is no limit to how many uh, options we can add in, and we can we, we can copy and paste from Excel, for example, in, into these charts. There are also some advanced options, um, so we can go by load or deformation. We can add in um, Creep factors. We can update the creep coefficient to say one or two. Um, that adjusts the values and also um, how we're do, do, doing the crack width calculations um, with the, the the options there, and also um, we can also force the cover. Um, so the cracks we can calculate the cracks at a given cover rather than the actual concrete surface. Um, okay, so let's go and look at um, some of the other options. So um, we've we've got loads in there. We can now go into the case details. In this case, I just asked for the ULS results in in the top half. And we can see the calculations here and similarly below. Um, the SLS results, and we go for case number two, and we can see the neutral axis on the section um, and and, and the, the crack results, and so on, all, all the various outputs. We can also go into see what the interaction diagram. So this is what this Africa says this is one of the big changes to, to ADSEC. Uh, previously, we'd have to generate these actual moment charts. Now they they are there automatically, and this is a full 3D model of the interaction diagram for the axial load in red and the major minor axis many moments in blue and green. Um, I'm going to change that just so it shows um, centrally, so we can see the, the balance points. At the moment, we can see the NM chart for a given angle, but we can also just rotate this this uh, moment angle. Let's I'll just type 90 in, um, just so it's forced to be in entirely minor axis. And one thing you'll note is that um, the curve is not always perfectly smooth. That you will suddenly get, get, get segments. I mean, this is because um, the onion itself is uh, faceted. Um, we are calculating a number of points, and then. And then extrapolate between the two, and so you, you can get these sort of um, flat edges. This is just an artifact of the calculation process. Um, 
You will also note, you see this green dots in there. This is the, the loading point, the bending moments that we applied in, 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 in the table. And we can see um, this dot is green, it's inside. If it was outside, it would be showing red. Um, so we can quickly see which loads are working, which ones are not. We can also see additional um, results inside the section. So we see these surface, um, so any points inside the red area, there's no tension section, there's no compression in this section, and there's also a, a cracking zone. Um, so anything inside the yellow cone is uncracked. There's also a, um, a balance yield option um, for when the section um, fails in compression and tension simultaneously, but um, maybe not so useful anymore. Now, this is looking at um, axial load versus moments, but we can also look at the moment and moment um, for, for a given axial load. And this is literally just a horizontal slice through, through the onion. Um, and we can apply um, some compression or, 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 or tension to, to the section. And we can see how the, um, how the section will, will, will behave um, and what kind of moments it can, it can take in the major and minor axis directions. Um, if you want to do more with this, we can copy these points out um, and then paste them in, in, into Excel um, for, for additional, additional visualization as we choose. Now, apart from these interaction charts, we also have um, the moment stiffness charts. Again, we can see, um, we can just um, adjust the axial force on these, or do you just type um, the values in um, explicitly, and then get get the stiffness chart out. And again, we, we can copy these out in into Excel or other programs for for, for use um, in addition. I see, and that is this is this is the, the new AdSec. Um, it is you see it is very slick, very fast um, to be used now. Um, so much easier than the old version. Um, so um, at this stage, I think we we, um, we can probably go over to questions. Actually, before we go on to the questions, um, can we run a quick poll? Mm. Sure, just a so. Yeah, there you go. Um, so you can see the uh, the poll, and also in the meanwhile, um, you can put in your questions if you have already uh, thought of something. I, I can see that we have already received a few, so I'll just wait a little bit until everyone answers, and then we can move on to the questions. Okay, it looks like everybody. Oh. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so you. the first question is, um, can we apply pre-stress onto bars? Mm. Of course. Um, let me bring AdSec back up. All right, so um, pre-stress on the bars, if I go back to the definition of, of, of the section, we see there is a preload option here. Um, defaults none, so we can preload stress, force, or, or strain on the bars. Let's say force on the bars, and then I can then apply a, a pre-stress force of you know, um, um, a, a, a kilonewton onto those bottom bars, and then the analyses will then um, use use those those um, pre-stresses in the calculations. Brilliant. Um, so the next question is, um, can you analyze composite sections with staged loading in a sec 10? Um, yes and no. So um, first of all, um, composite sections, yes. Um, I can add um, a new component in, into this. Let's say um, the, yeah, it could be a steel section or an FRP section. For example, I could add in a, um, 
let's say a standard rectangle, let's say 10 by, was it 450? Um, now at the moment, it's it's gone straight across the middle, which is um, not quite what we want. And you see also, I'll bring that back, um, AdSex recognized that this new section overlaps the old one, so it's removed the concrete from there. But I can then just um, offset that by, um, Okay. How deep do I make it? Ah, oh, 600. That's minus. Minus 300. Um, so we, we can offset the um, the compound section um, or the part and then, and then and again analyze this um, as before for checking capacities and so on. Now, the stage loading. Um, this is something which is currently in at 8.4. We um, it, it's it, it's on the backlog for AdSec 10. Um, so it is the development work is is ongoing to add that this in. Um, if you need to do stage loading at the moment, you still use 8.4. We'll have the two versions in parallel for for, for the time being. Um, once we've got um all the functions in 8.4 to 10, we will be um, multiple in the old program. Okay, so the next question is, do you have an API or plans to implement? Uh, yes, Afrik, do you want to talk about that? Sure. Um, yes, we are currently working on the API and it is an Oasis API, so it will cover both GSA and AdSec. Um, most of their development team are currently working on it, so we hope to deliver it um, quite soon. It's our number one priority. Okay, um, so the next question, um, how can one use C2835 concrete? I didn't see it in the grades list as it's not in EC2, but it's widely used in the UK. Okay, so um, this list of grades is the ones based directly on the standards. Um, and but if you want to um, add a standard, um, yeah, we, we can um, yeah, we, we, we can just take 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 an existing grade uh, and edit this to edit this to to to, uh, to suit. So so yeah, you you can you can create your own um, um, grade. Um, and and adjust the, the the various parameters to 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 suit. But obviously, um, you'll be um, taking ownership of that. Brilliant. Um, so the next question is: uh, What about combined concrete concrete section? Uh, let's say we have uh, precast cross sections, and you want to fill it up. Um, yeah. So. Just like the, um, the compact section here, we, we, we can <coughs> have multiple components which are, are, are concrete. Um, we don't have the sort of the infill option yet um, in asset 10. Uh, that, that is a, another another item on, on the list. But but, but yeah, the, um, but yes, you, you can you, you can create the the multiple uh, multiple concrete sections and then analyze them together. Okay. Um, how is it? How easy is it to automate processes of designing multiple sections in one go? Uh, this will be with 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 the API, uh, which is due out um, sometime soon. Um, otherwise, um, you can the, the moment you can sort of copy and paste text in, into these fields. But yeah, the API will be the way to to automate that. Using um, whichever, um, or very nearly any programming language you, you like. Um, certainly, uh, we've been working with Python, VB.NET, C Sharp, uh, and 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 so on. Okay. So the next one is: um, Are you able to create reports from the analysis in PDF? Yes. Um, so. Um, Wait a minute, it's control P. Oh, once it finishes analyzing. Um, 
I'm going to drop you first. Um, do it again. Right. Make sure I'm in the right window. There we go. Um, so yeah, so we've got the um, the, the print options um, that, that we can do of, of, of the results, which can then be printed to a, a PDF as as you choose. Um, and um, there are some there are some things we, we're working on as well. That, so, so at the moment the the NM charts are not in here, but we'll be adding those those into the into the print options um, shortly. Okay, and um, are there any plans in the future to use AdSec for checking share as well? Mm. Afric, do you want to cover that? Sure. Um, we do have plans. It won't be the immediate future because we have a few things we need to add in before then. It's also quite complicated process if you're not dealing with a standard rectangular section. So what we're doing at the moment is some of our concrete experts in in-house in Arab are investigating how we might best implement it. So it is something we want to do, but it won't happen in the near future. Okay, thank you. Um, is there is there a thermal crack check capability? Not at present. Um, no. Um, that, so that'd be for water, water retaining structures, I presume. Um, yeah, we don't have thermal options in, in here at the present. Okay, um, so the next is, could you quickly demonstrate Indian section predefined? Uh, Indian section predefined? I mean, we can we can use Indian codes. Um, and we have the Indian codes. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by Indian sections. Possibly the Indian codes. Um, um, if you could further specify what do you what did you mean by um, the Indian section, that would be mm -hmm. uh, brilliant. Yeah, but 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 finalized, we just set the the Indian standards. Um, we had to see we have have, have the, uh, the the materials, and then yeah, the, the sections would then be working to um, the, um, the sections and and so on. As before, I'm going to update the bars. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the next one is: Can you view individual bar stress in AdSec 10? Uh, Afric, can we do that? Yes, it's in case details, mm -hmm. which is where all the more um, in-depth calculations are. The table just gives you a quick overview. Mm -hmm. Yep. Once we get to that. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. So you see all the stresses and strains in the individual bars. Okay, um, so the next one is, how would you create a circular section with a segment removed, for example? Oh, tricky. Well, creating a circular section is, is very straightforward. Um, to do a segment removed, um, we would need to convert that to a perimeter, which we can't. We can't convert to a perimeter at the moment, can we, Afric? Um, no, but I mean, you could make a hollow circular section very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, is there? A... Yeah, so we can make, 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 make the hollow sections. Um, to, to, to do a section removed, what we have to do instead, rather than a straight circle, is is a geometric outline and and define the perimeter. Um, so, so you need to um, calculate the sort of the significant points then for that. Um, how we, or of course, you can create it in 8.4 and, and then open the 8.4 file in 10 as well. That that would also work. Okay. Um, can you derive confined properties to concrete? Is it automatic or you have to create the tension strain curve by modifying the parameters? Um, so, go on, Efric. Yeah, at the moment you'd have to modify the stress strain curve. Um, in the future, 
quite soon we want to add back in all the functionality that 8.4 had with regards to confined concrete, which included mandra curves and um, other things like that. But at the moment, yeah, you'd have to change the stress strain curve or use 8.4. Yeah, so very much the, the the focus for ten, the first version ten, is to get the the functions which are used by by the majority, and then catching up with with all the uh, lesser used for our functions subsequently, and until it's it's equally equally as functional. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, is attack backward compatible, and can we have two versions installed on same PC? Um, so first of all, yes, you can have several versions of AdSec installed on, on the same PC. They are completely separate installations. That's not a problem. Um, AdSec 10 is backly compatible in that it can open an 8.4 file. 8.4 cannot open a, a version a 10 file though. Um, they're, 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 they are they are quite different in that respects. Um, but yeah, you, you can create a, 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 a section in 8.4 and open it in 10 that, without a problem. Okay. And um, can we get crack with uh, at a particular location? Earlier version only gave a max value for Indian code. Um, now, the crack width locations vary from code to code. Um, Afri, do you know the answer to this one? I'm afraid I'm not very familiar with the Indian code. We could talk to Ravi and get back to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how long will 8.4 be supported for? Until so we have no, yeah, we we have no plans to stop supporting. So, we'll continue to support it until 10 has every all the functionality that 8.4 has. Brilliant. And the next one is just um, a <laughs> compliment that it looks great. So, um, what is the shown deformation um, for the ULS design? Um, the deformation for the ULS design, um, let me bring that back. So, so the deformation, um, so obviously, when you have a, you, you put your section under load, um, it will um, deform, you know, stress strain and so on. And what we can see here is the um, axial strain and the bending strain about the, the, the two axes. So um, for any given section, there is a strain plane, a plane where the strains of um, the strains across the section will generate the stresses which are equal and opposite to the applied loads or actions. Um, um, so there'll be, um, you yeah, know, and um, obviously uh, the reinforced concrete section, you've got concrete and you've got steel, they've got different Young's moduli, um, but they will have a constant strain. Um, and that's a basis of the AdSec here. We assume a constant strain plane across section, but then you have the different non-linear stresses, um, and we're and we're finding these deformations, which which exactly balance the applied loads. And similarly for the deform um, for, similarly for deformations, um, does the deformation shown here mean curvature? Um, so yeah, that there that there is. There is a small amount of curvature on this section with an applied axial load, so these are giving section um, curvature. But yeah, you know, the section is it, it's it's got a beam reinforcement. It's, it's an unequal unequal reinforcement. So yeah, um, a a slight curvature from an axial load is is to be expected because the section itself is is asymmetrical. Brilliant. Um, the next question is, um, can you import AutoCAD sections and reinforcements? So not right now, but we're going to add it shortly. And another big benefit for 
us having modernized the code base is we now have an application that's significantly easier for the development team to um, both maintain and extend. So we can actually much more efficiently add new features. So we can do it quite quickly now, and that is top of our backlog. So we will add it shortly. Great. Um, um, I'll, I'll also add yeah. in that um, if if you've still got, uh, so we can do that and, and add like 8.4. Um, and that's April 4 and the team will be running in parallel for the, for the moment. So, so you can import the section outline and reinforcement into 8.4, um, save the file and then open it in 10 as well for, in the meantime. Okay. Um, the next question is, is it just the same process for a circular section? Mm, totally, yeah. Um, so we can go to the so circular section. Um, and it's exactly the same. Um, so um, AdSec will work on with any shape section. Mm. Okay. Actually, there's a request if you can uh, do a circular pile, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's, there's one here. Well, let's just you know, we'll 75 for five mil cover. Um, maybe some bigger bars, um, bigger link. Um, yeah, with some, um, and we can see immediately this got an actual capacity of 5,000 kilonewtons, or uh, once we um, um, include some moment, yeah, so yeah, maybe about 4,000 kilonewtons with, 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 with um, without a moment. I want to take extricity into account. So yeah, that there we have there we have, have your piles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there a way to input a unique shape, i.e., non-rectangular? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we have seen the circular ones. <laughs> so um, okay, I'll, I'll just do an empty section. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be concrete with the grade, and then under the profile. Um, we have standard catalog and geometric so a geometric section um which should be a perimeter i would then now this is this is the ideal point where we would in allow the import of dxfs but we can um let's say um create a um section um and apply that and it, you then got a rectangle. I mean, we would do this bit. Um, maybe that's two hundred. Um, yeah. So, so you, you can you can use use the um, geometric profile option to create any section sh shape shape you like. Okay. Um, are the Indian codes supported? Um, I think they are. Aren't they? Um, Yes. Yes. There's a number of them. Yep. So you've got the um, um, yeah, the three options there. Okay, brilliant. Uh, can you combine axial load uh, with bending moment? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, if I go to the analysis, oh, that happened to be reinforcement. Let me let me not do that one. Um, The calculates. Um, yeah, so I'm just adding 100 kilonewtons axial loads onto there with the bending moments, and maybe a um, a minor axis moment as well. Yeah, it, you can you can have whatever um, load combination you you require. Brilliant. Uh, so the next question is: uh, Can we import uh, sections such as a box girder? Um, yes. It's, so not yet. Um, so that that is something that that uh, that that is on our development uh, a backlog. It will be there soon. As I said, um, you can you can import them into eight point four and then bring that through to ten in the meantime as a workaround. But but that that that, that will be coming sometime soon. Okay. Um, next question is: uh, Where can I find the neutral axis uh, for certain loading A? Um, that if we go to the case details um and 
Um, Oh, it's not, not showing the uh, new slides. Uh, probably because it's off, off the section. Um, hmm. It's showing uh, neutral axis earlier. Let me go back to the, the first one, which I knew was um, giving showing the neutral axis. So. Um, There we go. Um, so in this case, the neutral axis is a cross section, so it is it is uh, uh, sh um, showing. It. So yeah, um, you can e e extract it from there. Also, um, you can see the neutral axis in the output results there. Brilliant. Um, so the next question is: uh, Is there any interoperability with GSA, uh, i.e., profile definitions and load cases slash results? Uh, this is again something we're working on. So not yet, but but but, but this rewrite of AdSec um, is the is is a step to, to, towards that. It's enabler technology for us. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So um, next one is: uh, Do you benchmark against other wide, uh, widely used um, available software? Example: Response Two Thousand. Anecdotal feedback is a much higher degree of confidence in the latter, and in a personal example, there are there appeared to be significantly different results between AdSec and Response, which I didn't manage to get to the bottom of. Very honest answer. <laughs> Question. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously we can't comment on the lack of accuracy of other programs. Uh, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, um, I don't think we do. Um, I mean the. No, but. If you go to the getting started um, menu, you'll see that there's a, a validation. So, yep. no, the, the getting started, Peter, which is, no, well, where yeah, is it? close that. <laughs> no, it's not there. <laughs> it's the question mark at the bottom. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's not in the blue menu. Oh. It's in the white menu on the side. No, uh, if you close the blue menu. Uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, in documentation, there's a validation document, which you can read if anyone's interested. And we have validated the results for all the codes um, against hand calculations. So to prove that AdSec produces what we would expect. and. That's it. Those tests are actually built into AdSec, and we run them every time we build a new version. And 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 the the, the, the these tests are all backed up by um, various um, Arab gurus who who have a speciality um, in 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 concrete design. So so, so we're yeah we're we're very confident that, that that the AdSec results are accurate. And I said we can't comment on. Uh, third-party programs. Okay, um, so we actually have quite a few questions, so um, I'll try to get through this as soon as, as quick as possible. Is is there a way to uh, get exact coordinates for balance uh, for balanced point and the compression point? Um, I think will be, those be from the um, charts, I believe. Um, have, haven't tried this. Africa, I'm assuming we should be able to export when we export the results. Yeah, you can copy the points of. So uh, if you scroll down, it's. Yeah, you sh when you copy the points and paste them into Excel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, answer you would like. Curious, but yeah, so we can just co copy those points and then yeah. into Excel. Okay. Um, is it possible to copy uh, paste in a sec thousands of model outputs, um, actual for some moment, and return batch of crack uh, with values or rebar stresses? Um, okay. So we can, um, I believe, at it we we can paste into this table here, can't we? Add Africa. Yep. Yeah, and the, there's no limits. Yeah, and also I think we do have an API 
coming as well. So we'll be able to um, you, you, you will be able to run AdSec um, through through scripts. Okay. Um, the next question is, I believe, in continuation to previous one. I can quickly find the previous one, but it says and composite shapes, um, outer steel uh, liner with con uh, with uh, concrete inside. Yeah. So yeah. So we can create um, co um, compound sections. If I go back to this one, let's say I'm going to change this to a steel um, catalog. Uh, what's the uh, some. Should choose the rectangle section. Never mind. Okay, so we've got a um, a concrete section. Ah, uh, sorry, steel tube. Um, and then we what we can do is we can add a component onto there, which is concrete. Um, and this is going to be a standard circle of whatever the internal diameter is. Um, seven hundred, I guess, something like that. Okay, it's close. <laughs> um, I need to look that up. Okay. Um, um, and then re reinforce it and so on as, as before. So yeah, yeah. So, so we can we can do, do that. Brilliant. Okay. So the next question is: uh, Is there a consideration in the design of confinement reinforcement for ductile earthquake resistant rectangular and circular columns? So um, confinement at the moment. Um, what you do is again a bit like this. You'd have a two components section um, with the the, the confined co uh, concrete um, in the inner circle using using the the the, the um, high capacity um, concrete. So um, in that respect, yes. Okay. Um, will any time soon dynamic forces be included? Africa. Yeah, no, there's quite a few things we want to add before then. Um, but how we decide what we're adding next is dependent on how many people need it and the impact it would make to their work. So please do get in touch with us if you have suggestions like that and maybe give us a bit more background on what you want to do. Um, and I know you can give the feedback directly through through, through the interface. Um, now as well, since it's in the, in, the, in, the, in the top corner of every page, there's a feedback button, so you can just um, add it in, and and we will see all those um, all, all those thoughts and suggestions. Brilliant. Next is uh, what about the capacity of pre-stressed concrete sections? Um, yeah. So um, for the pre-stress, we can. Um, Add in the the um, the reinforcements. Um, let me see. Oh, so I'll go back to uh, one we've got ready. Um, and so let's say that these bottom bars are pre-stress. So we can just add in um, a, a pre-stress um, of um, whatever, and then and then um, take the uh, and then analyze from there. And again, the uh, the results will all take the the the, the pre stresses into account, and you can see there's a there's a variety of options on the on on the pre stress on the reinforcement, which then obviously pre stresses the the section as well. Okay, uh, brilliant. Next, um, is there a chance to get a trial version? Yes, um, we do provide um, trial versions. On that, um, if you don't, if you haven't used uh, AdSec before, actually, did we have a poll before? Oh, uh, regarding <laughs> okay, yes, let me, let me uh, do, do it now. Okay, yes, um, while you while you're uh, answering the poll, um, yes, we we can provide a, a a trial version. Um, if you can just get in touch with us, um, I, I we do have your um email address, so I can get in touch with you. Yes. Okay. Um, in the meanwhile, let's see the next question. Can we uh, can we run analysis of a section for uh, biaxial moment with axial load for ULS capacity? Um, yes, yeah. So um, 
the um yeah so, so, so you, you put in you, you put you put in loads and it will tell you um uh, whether it works or not and indeed what the um how hard it's working what 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 what, you know, what percentage towards unity it is it is uh, working towards mm -hmm. okay so cool. the next question is uh how about the report um can we print mn curve The... So there is a a new printed report function, but at the moment it's just um, the basic report. It doesn't have the MN curves, but we will add them. But um, if you do Control P, Peter, you'll be able to to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So it's, sorry, that's set up for ARP at the moment. But and you can turn on the side um, the different things you want, turn on and off. But it doesn't have the MN curve at the moment, but it will. In the meantime, you can um, you know, copy and paste that into Excel, for example, and print from there if you want, or or screenshots. Oh, yeah. um, brilliant. Are there any checks for shear or detailing requirements? Detail requirements is um, just the the percentage of reinforcement. Um, other detailing checks not at present um though it is is something that we are considering um what was the other part sure sure um ah. which there is not and it's actually quite a difficult thing to in, to include but we have already begun the investigation of it so we have our experts in arab um outlining how we'll include it in the future mm -hmm. at the moment yeah because so obviously um the, the design codes look at shear on rectangular sections and then go other sections uh, um something else um shear shear in non rectangular sections is 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 a difficult thing but it is something we would love to include okay um while automation is not possible with g s a is it possible in any other forms or manner so once we have the API, um, which um, um, yeah, it's on, ongoing development at the moment, um, yeah, you'll be able to run the automations with, um, with with GSA and indeed with, with any pro program you like. Um, but once once the API is finished, um, yeah, and it is an Oasis API we're working on, so it will fully incorporate both AdSec and GSA. This also means you'll be able to in, um, get AdSec interacting with the, the geotechnical programs, the piling programs, the chain walls, and so on um, for, um, you know, um, for, for, for direct interaction and digital workflows there. Okay. Uh, to check crack width, um, is AdSec already automat automatically calculating E intermediate? <laughs> Um, so the crack width calculation will depend on the code, and and we follow the the code requirements. So if, if that's a euro code question, then yeah, we we add set calculates the cracked and uncracked, and then interpolates between the two. Um, and if it's the um, other codes, then we follow the, the those those particular code requirements. So yes. Brilliant. Um, if I have uh, eight point four. Um, already and have a subscription will AdSec update automatically? Yes. Um, so if you're already an AdSec user and you have a subscription or you're, uh, you have a current maintenance, then you will be able to simply just uh, download a newer version and use it. Um, next question. How long AdSec 10 can approval by government example in Hong Kong? So we applied for approval um, end of October. It's just quite a long process, but we'll, hopefully we'll get it soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It seems okay. like there are no further questions. Well, actually, uh, can we please receive? It? Yes. Uh, we will have uh, the recording sent uh, to all the attendees. So um, yes, uh, that will be done. Um, thank you very much for attending today's webinar. Thank you so much for your questions and being uh, interactive and showing interest. And um, as, again, if you have any further questions, you can just put them in here and uh, we will receive the questions or you can always send these uh, directly 
direct directly to us. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you all. Thanks. Bye-bye now. Bye for now.